Hello and welcome back to some more Bitburners. So in last video I show you guys how to perform an exploit that can unlock massive amounts of money for your corporation. And as you can see I already used that exploit to increase my corporation funds to around 127 trillion dollars. Uh, that, and this money can be used to expand our corporation into something a little bit more profitable than what it is today. Uh, so as you can see here, we're currently producing 2.6 million dollars per second. Uh, but my goal for this video is to increase that into something a little bit more than what <laughs> what it currently is. Uh, so the first step I want to take is uh, to upgrade one of my cities to um, around 100 employees big. And you can do that by clicking on this upgrade size button. And then I guess I'm just going to increase this to uh, 100, 100 employees. So I'm just going to manually just click on this. And there you go, 105. And then after that, I then just hire a whole bunch of employees. Um, the more I do corporations, the more I realize that uh, custom scripts might not be necessary. And the only time you would use custom scripts is be, is when you're hiring massive amounts of employees, as in like thousands of employees, and you have to click through this hire employee button repeatedly to hire all of them, and that can be a, a bit of a pain. So you can do that by you know scripting that, um, but at the moment it's not too much of a pain, so I'm not gonna make a script. Um, and then after hiring all your employees. You then want to allocate them to uh, each of these business areas except for training. There you go. So 21 on each one. And this is currently producing 9.7 uh, per second. Um, and then I'm just going to increase the business people, increase the operations. So operations actually influence how much you can produce. And as you can see, we, we're now producing around... 10.5 I think we can do a little bit better than that so let's reduce this and then increase this and 10.8 there you go so that should be good uh, I'm just gonna allocate more of these guys so 11 uh, per second and this managed to increase our profits from around 2.6 million per, per second to a consistent 3 million per second but that's not enough um, i actually want to have a, a bit of a markup on my product so i want to be able to charge you know times five or times six the amount that i'm actually selling it for and to do that we want to make sure that our product is as popular as possible uh, from my initial experimentation i discovered that the more popular your product is the higher you can sell your product for uh, meaning that we want to put a, a lot of focus on um, increasing the popularity and awareness of our product and we also want to increase the multiplier so advertising multiplier for our product so if we go to the corporations tab here and unlock ve chain so that i can show you guys the uh the multiplier that uh that's somewhat important to um you know producing a, a lot of profits uh, we can actually unlock this Wilson Analytics and this one will increase the effectiveness of our advertising. We want to increase this to around level 15 from what I remember. Actually, let's do 17 uh, just so that it's even more effective. Uh, and then we want to spam this advert ink uh, until we reach the, to the point where uh, advert, advert ink is actually charging us trillions of dollars yeah this is definitely a, a, a bit of a tedious process but that's that's all right because this is going to be worth it in the end so there you go so uh you want to stop until advert inc is actually charging one trillion dollars so after uh, increasing the advertising uh, multiplier you then want to build your own product so you want to discontinue the ones that has the lowest rating so the lower your rating is the less uh, i guess demand for your product uh, so you want to discontinue this there you go and then develop a new software so i'm gonna um i'm gonna develop a new software and i'm gonna call it um prod one um, it doesn't matter what the name is and then uh, i'm gonna invest 
uh, around one billion dollars so one in nine uh the 10 billion dollars i mean so 10 billion dollars in funding for each one and then i'm just gonna wait for that all right so after you're creating your new product um you can then charge a lot more money than what it is so i usually start with times 10 and then um and then have a look at the sell value so as you can see we're selling a lot more than what we can produce meaning that we can charge a lot more so let's try mp11 uh so we can see here that um you know time stand is something that we can go for so that we can sell everything that we produce uh and then we what also so after changing that up um you can then check every single sector just to make sure that uh, what we're producing is um, equivalent to what we can sell. Uh, so as you can see, most of our sectors doesn't really sell uh, everything that we produce. Um, it's only sector 12 that um, that can actually sell a lot, a lot of stuff. Meaning that we want to decrease this amount uh, so that it can catch every single every single sector so as you can see the biggest pain point for uh, i guess corporations is um finding the right amount of uh, markup to for your for each of your products every single sector has different demands for your products so for sector 12 i can actually charge up to 10 percent uh, for Chongqing, i can uh, charge up to 6.5 percent and then uh everything varies uh, but the the downside of doing the manual approach is that uh, it's very time consuming to um, do uh, the trial and error process to find out which uh, what's the, what's the optimal markup for every single item that you can produce and you can do that manually but um, again the demand for your product changes over time uh, so you're, you're gonna have to continually adjust that um, as you progress through and um, to automate that process, they actually provide uh, an upgrade called Market TA. So you can unlock that by going to the scientific research, expanding this menu, and then uh, unlocking each of them in exchange for some research points. And uh, basically what this Market TA is, so TA stands for Technical Analysis, is that it's going to analyze both the demand your production and then also the how, how popular your product is uh, to calculate the best price sell price sale price uh, for your products to produce the maximum amount of money um, it's sort of like uh, the equivalent for smart supply so if you don't remember smart supply is the upgrade that can automatically buy products for you depending on how much you produce this one will automatically sell the product for you depending on how much you produce but also considers the market demand as well to produce the maximum amount of money for every single sector and then um i guess the next steps from here um uh, which is kind of kind of a, a bit of a grind is to uh unlock the research points required so you require uh 20 000 for market ta1 and then 50 000 for market ta2 and then also 5,000 for uh, the research laboratory. Uh, so you just have to wait wait that out. Uh, but as soon as you unlock those, you can then assign them on every single product that you have. To increase your profit, you just have to spam this button here, Advertising Inc. And that's, that's about it. So that's how you stabilize your corporation. So I guess it's time to go into the YouTube comments. All right, so it looks like we have a lot of new ones here. Um, so I'm just going to start from the top and see how much I can go through. Um, so it looks like this is probably the only video I'm going to be uploading this week, mainly because of how much of a grind um, corporations involve. Uh, so I'm just going to go through every single one of them. And then um, hopefully next week I have a little bit more content to upload. Uh, so the first one is from Geraldo Rodriguez, hopefully I'm pronouncing that right, and he's commenting on Bitburner number 11, so the stock market one. So he says, glad to see the work of a fellow ape. <laughs> uh, thank you for that. I'm actually, ho I was actually hoping that someone from Wall Street Bets can would see that and then laugh their ass off, but hopefully it was entertaining. <laughs> 
Um, next one is from Soggy Fries, and he says, "For me, in the t Watchtower.js log, it shows an error for every flog attempt. Is there a general reason?" Um, so I don't really know what the error is until you paste the actual error message. Uh, but for me, Watchtower.js works perfectly, so I'm not really sure what's going wrong. Maybe you pasted something incorrectly, or maybe there's a invisible character uh, but one thing to note is that whenever you guys have an error make sure that you paste the error message so that um, me or anyone else in the community can uh, actually debug that issue for you uh, next one is from demon fotds and he says do i just run the code or do i host it off something uh, no you don't have to host it off something uh, you can run the code via the bitburner client um, so you just uh, go to the github page and then copy it over and then run it and if everything works correctly or is pasted correctly then it should work fine uh, next one is from Lin Ren and she says or he says uh, I currently have trouble getting to bitnode 1 the hacking level increases just too slow for me I have 25 purchase server max RAM threads running weekend get hacking XP in the end, I get 31 million hacking speed per second, which is nothing compared to 3,000 levels. Uh, hacking level is 1,300 and increase upward. Uh, if I calculate it right, it would take weeks or even months to get 3,000 levels. What should I do next? Uh, I would be thankful if you can help me. Uh, so the trick to leveling up really, really fast in this game is to unlock the hacking uh, augments from every single faction. If you haven't installed those augments yet, you go ahead and in install them now because what this one will provide you is um, a whole bunch of multipliers that can increase the uh, how much you can produce, so the hacking XP that you can produce, so you can you can level up a lot faster. Uh, next one is from Sodalus uh, from Bitburner number 23, and he he says uh, so I progressed out of Bitnode 3 and now at Bitnode 5. Money is slower to earn, and therefore buying new services is slowed down. Uh, but you get Formulas EXE right away. Uh, so I'd like to run Launch Fleet Script, but as soon as I buy one server, it freezes. I think it assumes that you have a full complement of purchase servers and breaks when you have less. Uh, so yeah, thank you for that um, heads up there. I probably have to modify the Launch Fleet Script to uh, account for these scenarios. Uh, in theory, it should have, uh, but I guess maybe something must be wrong with my code um, that prevents you from um, from work prevents it from working, which is kind of weird. Uh, so I'm probably gonna have to fix that as soon as I get to Bitnode Five. Uh, next one is from Ivy Farino, uh, and she says, uh, "Oh my, happy 100 subscribers! <laughs> uh, thank you for that. Um, yeah, and also." Um, I now reach over a hundred subscribers and I actually cannot believe it. Um, I actually started this channel with just 10 subscribers and uploading a whole bunch of play together videos and to I didn't really imagine uh, getting this far and uh, you know growing uh, as much as I did. Um, so I, I, I like to thank everyone for that and um, I'm really happy to make these videos for you guys. Um, next one is from Dylan F and he's commenting from Bitburner number one and he says that would be cool if you had a link to copy scripts. Uh, so you can actually go to the GitHub page to find the latest scripts for every single episode if I do code anything. There should be a folder called stable. Make sure that that's the place that you copy over. Next one is from Anthony T's Tank and he says I'm new to this game. I know close to now nothing about coding. I ran across your channel and I like it, but it's still over my head. Thank you. I'm reading I'm reading code, trying to learn how it works and write small things to see if I can do it. Thanks again. I can't wait to look at more of your files. Uh, no pro problem, Anthony. Yeah, it's it's all right. So there's really no uh, no pressure on trying to understand everything. Um, there is different ways to approach this game so my way isn't the only way um, a lot of other smarter individuals than me can uh, will probably approach my 
the problems a little bit more efficiently than me so uh, use my code as reference don't use it as um, it's the thing that you copy and paste across to your game okay so next one is from gene pool and he says uh, this series is coming along well thanks for sharing your code in github uh, no problem uh, next one is from Felipe and he says um, great video can you provide a link to the code thanks uh, so again github page go to that um, and then next one is from Solus, and he says, oh good, it's like they put X series of games in this. Um, yeah, so yeah, definitely there's different variations, but the mechanics somewhat the same. Um, uh, you, you code, you make scripts, and then you automate stuff. Yeah, that, that's, I guess that's the fun of it. Uh, next one is, uh, say, from Sage PTR, uh, and he says the first useful move is to expand to all cities this will boost your multiplier to set time six with six cities this will boost your production 36 times instantly uh yes um as soon as you made this comment i actually did that uh, after my first uh round of investment so thank you for that comment and then marco commented on some some weird thing about stock recommendation I'm, I'm not gonna read that because i feel like that's kind of a spam so yeah so that's i guess that's everything uh so in the next few days i'm just gonna be grinding out i guess these research points uh trying to unlock the market ta uh upgrade and then hopefully show you guys the effects of uh the market ta on your profits and unlock a lot of money uh, so I'll see you guys in the next one.